Ryder, that was a hell of a thing talking to your brother in a coma. Can't say I really bought into the whole Sam implant, but well, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was. I had no idea we could do that. Just when you think you've seen it all. And here, a 600-year trip to a new galaxy seemed like science fiction. Something new every day. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. I'll make it right. This is not good. I have a friend who came across on the Solarian art. How do I find it? No one's heard from them. Their arcs missing. How's that possible? A lot has gone wrong. But they've got Pathfinder out there trying to find it. Wow. Maybe I should go back to stasis. Pathfinder has died. Alec Ryder was killed after touching down on Habitat 7 in the Ericsson system. Ryder's daughter has reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder, taking command of the Tempest and the ongoing search for a home in Andromeda. This is HNS. a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and we'll all soon follow. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder.
It's not the best quality, but we don't have many options here. I thought merchants were supposed to make you want to buy their stock. I'd rather be honest. That way you won't get yourself killed doing something you shouldn't with my inventory. Well, I appreciate that. to your proposals. I asked her for lessons. Wow, where did you find those? Never mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. Free drinks for Pathfinders. I'll make sure of it. you want a refund? Oh, no. I got a buddy of mine to look at it. We came up with a mod to fix the problem. I wanted to show it to you, so you could modify your inventory. I... sure. Thanks. That'd be great, actually. The use of firearms on the Nexus is against initiative regulations. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. You and of course, doing. the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we are living. Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. Feels more like living. What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> Good afternoon, Pathfinder. Or morning. I can keep time according to any of the worlds we've detected. Director Addison finds it annoying. <laughs> 
I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation, if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there'll be no doubt that you're responsible. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder. Kelly's gone, Nels. So is the way she ran security. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. construction a millennium ago. These remnant fellows probably had the same idea. Wouldn't mind a seismometer reading, though. Sam, any chance? Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. That could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank SAM as well.
Spectres herald the Vortex as a sign of civility, and the opposite of civility, as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is HNS. Welcome back, Sarah. Dr. Aradana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam? Malicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to countermand malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction, or... Sam? You trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. You'd need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Welcome back, Sarah. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Ryder, this new station leadership I'm hearing about finally let you out of their sight? Looks like. Took them long enough. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? That's my job. We're keeping it to specific personnel for now. Those who can help the Nexus get back on its feet. But with outpost settlement starting, we'll soon be able to wake up more. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. Pathfinder? Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. 
Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind, but I have friends here too. I love piloting, but I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? Have to go now. See you later. Good luck. Residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the Scourge. An official tribute is planned, though Director Jaren Tan has provided few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. This is HNS. Once we get more biomaterial. It's that scourge I'm wondering about. Standard colony radiation shield should handle it, but I hate you should. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down-with-AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to Tan. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Avina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent the virus to save you. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. 
See, this is what our movement's all about, stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. So where are you running this puppet show from? Our sanctuary. I'll ask Knight if you can come visit. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. A whole movement of AI-hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human-AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to Did find you know, them. When the Asari AI Talaris went rogue, an entire colony had to be destroyed. Did you know when the Asari AI Talaris went rogue, an entire colony had to be destroyed? But we know there's always room for improvement. If I was intelligent, I could hold this entire station hostage. These power outages make no sense. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. The Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Scan to assess the nature of the damage. I'm certain, Professor. Sam, we need more data on life in the cluster. Whatever you can find. And its gas bladder can expand 300%. Amazing. Hey, Eric, how about you not dissect things over lunch? It's weird. To assess Welcome the nature to the of cultural the exchange center. Please have a look around. We're just getting things up and running. We hope you enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the Milky Way galaxy. The Nexus is a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. You are looking at an image of the Milky Way, the original system of the colonists now arriving in Andromeda. Home to countless life forms, the Milky Way is a galaxy where friendship and peace are held in the highest regard. Those arriving in Andromeda bring with them this spirit of enlightenment. They look forward to making your acquaintance. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. 
Why did he leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the Cultural Center. Please have a look around. This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda, yearning only for a land they can call home. If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. It's a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully it won't be long before we have our first visitors. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our Greetings, friends. inhabitant of Andromeda. I'm a Solarian. I'd be pleased to tell you more about my species. For any questions you may have, and eager okay. to learn more about your Solarians are considered among the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. Where do you come from? Solarians originate from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with oceans and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Rakesh's lush jungles, but with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the... This Cultural is Center. Ark Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe, eager to be your friend. The Nexus is a place of friendship.
friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Hello there. I'm a human being. If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. Okay. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. You may notice different skin colors or religious beliefs among our people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We'd rather celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover spaceflight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world, with everything from oceans to jungles, snowy mountain peaks to deserts. It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the many great things we bring to Andromeda. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. This is an image of the Citadel, considered the seat of government for many civilized races in the Milky Way galaxy. Here, the Council deliberates on matters of state. It is a champion of the common citizen, eager to help those in need. As with all political institutions in the Milky Way, conflict is rare. Peace and cooperation are the rule of the day. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a Krogan. Are you interested in hearing more about my people? Okay. Of course you are. We may look scary, but don't let that worry you. It comes from living on a harsh world. We're a species that knows how to thrive, even under the worst conditions. What's Krogan history like? Colorful, you might say. Growing up in our neighborhood, only the toughest survived. That usually meant a lot of fighting. You'll hear stories, so no sense covering it up. We once had a great society, but I'm ashamed to say, we squandered it. It's why a lot of Krogan are here in Andromeda now. They're the smart ones, the ones looking for peace and a fresh start. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tachanka. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We had predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But it gave us our identity, forced us to adapt and evolve. Everything about us is built for survival. How many species do you know that have a pair of spare lungs just in case? Or four testicles? Thanks for chatting. We're all looking forward to meeting our new neighbors. The Nexus is a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Welcome, native of Andromeda. My people are known as Asari. It would be my pleasure to tell you about our kind. Okay. Very well. Asari are the oldest civilized race in the Milky Way galaxy. Among my people, diplomacy and cooperation are prized over war or conflict. Where do you come from? Asari come from a planet known as Thessia, which many consider the crown jewel of the Milky Way. It's a thriving world blessed with prosperity and peace, and the center of the largest economy in the galaxy. With the high concentration of Element Zero on Thessia, Asari evolved powerful biotic abilities. It is considered a hallmark of our species. What's Asari history like? Thousands of years ago, we played an important role in founding the Citadel Council, the seat of government for our home galaxy. In the ensuing centuries, Asari placed great value on cooperation and collaboration. Many species look to us for leadership and guidance. Due to our lifespan, sometimes reaching 1,000 years of age, we are patient in our decisions and prefer long-term solutions over short-term gains. 
Farewell. We look forward to forging new bonds with our friends in Andromeda. The wisdom you share is our reward. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. It's an honor to meet you, citizen of Andromeda. My people are the Turians. It will be a privilege to tell you about them. Okay. Turians are a highly disciplined race who value service to others. No one places personal needs ahead of the greater whole. Public works serve as a focal point of our society. We believe it's our duty to better our species. What's Turian history like? The history of my people is proof that peace eventually wins out. Disagreements among species turned into lasting friendships. When Turians first met humans, there was a misunderstanding between us that could have had disastrous consequences. But with patience and restraint, humans and Turians eventually joined together in a mutually beneficial partnership. We look forward to doing the same in Andromeda. Where do you come from? Turians live on a planet known as Pala. The atmosphere's weak magnetic field shaped our evolution into the life form you see today. Our signature carapace, the hard exterior shell you see on Turians, is actually metal. It protects us from the intense rays of Palavan's sun. The pleasure of meeting you has been mine. One that I hope other Turians will soon enjoy. How many times have I told you this story? 343. Wait, what? You've been keeping count? <laughs> Rusha, that's not funny. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Tan of your status. Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. You really did miss her while you were gone, huh? I really did. Cash can handle herself just fine, but it's still good to be nearby, just in case. Pathfinder, thanks for helping Raj and Zara find Atkins. He's not getting out of lockup for a while. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. 
I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. Good luck out there. What? How can we be out of those materials? I don't know. Ben's looking into it. Don't worry. Probably just another computer glitch. Vetra never had these glitches. That's because Vetra kept it all in her head. We mere mortals aren't as good at that.